Hi, my name is Brent Stoughton. I am a photojournalist with Getty Images, and this is What's in Your Bag. So I work with Evoc bags. Uh, they're a German manufacturer. Um, made for snowboarders and skiers, uh, guys who climb up mountains, etc. And what I really like about these bags is that they are they have the best um, you know, best thinking about your back and your lumbar system and how it conforms to your back while you're working. So yeah, this one's an older one. This is at least three, four years old actually. And it's just, I've used it all the time and it's held, held up really well. Um, but they do, I think they are more recent versions. Um, the laptop compartment is in the front. And like most people um, in our industry, I use a MacBook Pro, uh, 15 inch. So that's just the standard, I guess. Um, but what, another aspect that I like about this bag is that it opens from the back, which is uh, great from a security perspective. And it has these two compartments. So uh, always a notebook and pen. I always have a couple of these. I think it's super important. Um, from a gear perspective, I do most of my work with Canon cameras, 90%. So. Um, it's a new uh, R5. Um, I have just this one loaner of this at the moment, but I think I'm going to go to these cameras. Um, honestly, you know, for me, um, they solve the issue where I need a high-res camera with really great sharpness and definition um, with something that's also weather-sealed and tough and also has good low ISO capabilities. So this camera you know, this finally really bridges that gap for me. So my, my kit for the future will most likely be two or three R5s. And I like the drives. Um, I use the drives because my hands are bigger and the lenses are bigger. You know, it's, um, see the size of the lenses that, that I want to use um, to get the best optics that pairs better for me having a drive. So yeah, so I have my R5 here. Um, this is a R, which was the, obviously the predecessor. Um, I intend to upgrade that shortly uh, to another couple of R5s. Um, yeah, you know, um, there's always a lot of talk about weight. And um, to be honest with you, I'm only ever worried about weight when it comes to getting on the plane. Um, so my greatest fear is having my bag weighed. So I try and build a frequent fire relationship, uh, which means I don't have to get it weighed. Um, but this... Uh, yeah, this 85 1.2, this is my standard portrait lens. Um, I think it's the best lens that, that Canon have made. So that, that always comes with me. Um, and this, that, this is my standard lens. I mean, the, uh, this is a 28 to 70 F2 Canon lens. Uh, it's, a, it's a big beast. But honestly, um, yeah, it's, I think it's the best zoom that's ever been made. And it gives me beyond... Uh, the, the quality that most primes can give you. I think it's, uh, you know, so this is what I want. At this stage in my career, I just want to make the best images that I can. So that's what I work with most often. Um, charges, uh, always, I always carry two of everything. And with lenses, I always tend to carry backups at least, you know. Um, so uh, this is a 50, 1.2 Canon lens which I think is a superb low light lens. Um, so I like having that as well. Um, 70 to 200 uh, RF. Um, that's basically like, so that's my kit. In terms of what I, what I must have with me, that's, that's my kit. Um, I always have light meters um, and uh, I tend to use the Kenkos. Um, I like these because I used to use the Minolta's when they were still around and they, they are the same, essentially. Um, just a slightly different color. Um, always uh, at least four extra batteries. Um, you know, with these drives, I tend to have no problem getting 2,000 plus shots out of a drive before I have to, so I have to change the batteries. So generally, um, you know, if some of my jobs mean that I can't charge for a few days, I like to have extra batteries just, just because of that, you know. Um, I like this 35 F2, um, very light and stabilized, good macro. Um, you know, if I just want to walk around with a small lens on a camera for a while, this works well for me. Um, so that said, um, I do always have 
a tiny good camera with me. Some of my work involves um, photographing surreptitiously or photographing in an environment where I don't want to look like a professional photographer. And so it'll be either like one of the Canon point and shoots or I mean, this is a Fuji X70. All I need in this case is something that's good for a double page in National Geographic. As long as it's good enough for a double page, um, I'm happy with it. So always something small. Um, second light meter, uh, also Kenko. Um, I'm old school, you know, like lights, light meters are what I grew up with and I feel very comfortable and I feel that for editing, um, it's easier with light meters. Um, your exposures are very consistent. So um, anyway, I always carry at least uh, one Canon flash with me, often two. Um, this is what is this, the 600EX with the radio transmitter. Um, this is the transmitter. You can do a lot with these guys. Um, so for me, um, you know, especially if I, I'm going to walk a long way and I, I don't have help, um, having one or two of these, you can do a lot with your lighting with this. Some guys are really amazing with what they can do with these things. I'm, I'm okay, but um, I always have this with me. Yeah. So um, what else? So I, I, I said earlier that I like to carry spares in terms of lenses. You know, the thing is that we, we go to places where, you know, a lot of my work is in very remote areas of the world and I can't get a replacement. Um, so I take a second 24 to 70 with me. Um, this one is stabilized. This is a 2.8 and obviously quite a lot smaller, you know, than this, uh, than this 28 to 70. Um, I'm trying not to shoot too wide. I'm trying not to shoot anything wider than a 28 because I find that as I've gotten older and advanced in my career, I look at a lot of my older work, which honestly I shot on a 16 to 35 and whew, I just wish someone had, had stopped shooting like that because it's too wide is too wide. So this is my backup lens. This, these two, this 24 to 70, or sorry, 28 to 70 and this 24 to 70, most important lenses in my bag. Um, yeah, I can do I can do ninety percent of my work with this. Uh, okay, and then um, on those occasions when I do need something extra wide, so say for landscape or certain interiors, I have the fifteen to thirty-five as well. But I am afraid of this lens. I um, I'm nervous of this lens because I go too wide too quickly. So this is a specialist lens, and I only use it for certain things. So really, if you are a young photographer. Be careful of this lens. Too wide is too wide, and distortion is distortion. Um, okay, so for everything that I do, everything is backed up. Um, I like lift drives. Um, I think they're made in America. Um, I have two of these. They're two four terabyte drives, and they come everywhere with me, and everything is back, backed up. It's once on the computer and twice on the drive, so there's three copies at all times. Um, what I would advise is that if you are concerned about your work, um, you know, problems with the authorities or anything like that, these are 250 terabyte little thumb drives. So I always have at least two or three of these and they're useful. You know, if you've got stuff that you're worried about losing uh, for whatever reason, um, it's another alternative. Anyway, so that's basically my, my camera bag. Um, you know, it's, I use it, you know, guys, I mean, I, I have a lot of stuff and, um, you know, it's, it's definitely more than most people carry, but, um, yeah, I'm not finished. Um, the reason why I have it is because I really want to feel that I'm reliable and that no matter what happens, um, I can deliver. And, uh, yeah, this is my gear. So that's, that's my camera bag. Um, I always take a tripod because um, I'm a fan of tripods. They're useful for interviews. They're useful for, um, you know, for great landscape work, for anything where the light is low and you have the time. I use really right stuff. Um, look, the thing is, guys, you know, you buy a tripod once every 10 or 15 years. So spend the money. That's the bottom line. Is if, you, if you can, buy the best one that you can. I mean, this is sort of a mid-range, really right stuff. It's still fairly light, um, got a great fluid head on it. I mean, you know, it can be used the same way as a fluid head, I should say, but um, yeah, pretty good. Um, I expect to have this for 20 years. So for me, 
spending fifteen hundred dollars on it now, um, it's an investment. You know. Anyway, I, I always keep the pads on it and. You know, my gear, guys, um, I have to be honest, I really look after it and I uh, try to keep it in good condition. I mean, some things happen, but for the most part, if you look after your gear, your gear really looks after you. So, you know, consider that. Don't, don't be casual with your gear. Your gear is what's making your job possible in many ways. Um, I use some lighting. I showed you earlier that I, I, I work with the Canon Flash and their wireless transmitters. Um, but for the other stuff, yeah, I, I tend to carry uh, one pro photo or two pro photos with me. Um, this is the uh, 500 watt. This is the this is the 10B, I think it's called. Um, yeah, 10B plus. So the first one was 250 watts. This is 500. So a bit stronger, but still, as you can see, small. You know, um, and I like that. That's useful. That I always have two transmitters which speak to the pro photo. Um, you know, and that's that's for portraits. Um, what's nice with the 10Bs is that you get an LED light with them. So they're not just a flash, they're a really, really quite beautiful LED light as well. And I always have a couple of these smaller LED lights, which can be, you know, can be very helpful for an interview situation or to light a room or even for portrait work, etc. Useful little things to carry around with you. Um, what else? Um, for that uh, portrait work, I tend to work with umbrellas, uh, parabolic, deeper umbrellas. I like the way that looks. Um, so pro photo again. You know, again, guys, look, there's lots of brands of flash and stuff. I, I came up with pro photo, so I'm used to it. Um, you know, I think I think there's lots of other very good brands, but what has been most consistent and reliable for me has been the pro photos. Um, that's just me. But um, one stand. You know, one stand and one reflector, uh, silver and gold or white and black. Those, those are the colors that I use. Um, so that's, that's me, that's, that's my bag. Um, I tend to carry, um, you know, I tend to carry some sound equipment as well. Um, very small zoom recorders and like very simple lavalier mics. Um, I don't do drone work. Um, I should, I should, I'm sure, but um, yeah, you know, I think sometimes drone stuff can be really seductive and I'm really interested in, in a picture that has a, an emotional response. Um, so I'm, I'm wary of drones, uh, just for that reason. I, I want to be close to the person that I'm photographing or filming, etc. Um, but yeah, no doubt within the next six months to a year, I will have to have a drone in my bag as well. Anyway, I hope this was interesting for you. Uh, thank you for listening.